Hey guys, Breaking RC here with a video on how to Plasti Dip your car. If you're not sure what Plasti Dip is, Plasti Dip is a rubber spray paint that allows you to peel it off when you do enough coats. Meaning that you can spray paint the car and then if you don't like it or you want to change it up, you can always go back to the original finish. In my case, I'll be Plasti Dipping the front grill as well as the window trim. Since Plasti Dip is peelable, you don't have to fully mask the car off. Meaning you can just leave about an inch of space between the part you're painting and the paint and when you go to peel it off if you've already had the masking tape around here so about an inch under the uh, plastic tape will just peel off because it'll be cut by this line so the first step into dipping your car is to clean the surface now in order to do that you're going to need a clean microfiber towel as well as some ipa so go ahead and spray the ipa onto the towel in order to keep it from oversaturating the surface and just clean it one by one individually to make sure that you're getting into every part of the surface you're cleaning. Once you've thoroughly cleaned the chrome, you can go ahead and start masking the car off. So leave about half an inch to an inch of space between the part you're going to be painting and the paint of the car. A good tip I can give you to help you out when you're masking off the car, if you're using paper to mask off the car, what you can do is slide the paper into the door and then shut the door. It'll create this nice seal right here to prevent the paint from getting onto the door and it'll save you a lot of time and energy. Once you've gone ahead and masked off the entire car, this is what it should look like. Make sure you leave enough space on top and bottom so you don't get any overspray onto the car. This is how the paint should look after one coat. Nice and thin and very even. You're gonna wanna give the paint about 10 minutes to dry in between coats. And this is how the paint should look after two coats. You want to make sure you cover the entire surface as well as the edges so you can peel it off in the end. After your second coat, you're going to want to start doing some heavy coats. Make the paint look wet but not dripping. This is very fine to do and you need to be very precise. If you don't do it, you can get a drip in the paint. But if you do get it wet enough, you'll be able to get no texture in the plastic dip. To make sure the finish is durable, you're going to need to do 5 to 6 coats. After the 5th or 6th coat, you should have little texture and full coverage. Now, when you go to remove your masking tape, you're going to want to do it while the paint is still wet. Because if you do it when the paint is dry, the plastic tape might come off with the chrome too as you're trying to take off the masking tape. Once you've removed all the tape and you have just the plastic tape left, you can go ahead and start to remove the plastic tape. By just peeling it off like this, it'll be divided by the line between the chrome trim and the paint. And if you're, in case you're wondering, yeah, yeah. you can Ooh. peel Plasti Dip off of vinyl wrap just fine. Vinyl wrap will not affect the Plasti Dip in any way. And here's the finished product. As you can see, it really helps clean up the look of the car and also removed all of the chrome. If you want to add a bit of gloss to the surface as well as remove the rubbery feel, you can actually use tire shine since it is a rubber. So you can use tire shine on the Plasti Dip and it'll help to give the surface a much smoother feel and shine it up just slightly. In order to apply the tire shine, all you need to do is put a little bit of tire shine on a rag and just work it into the surface trying to keep it just onto the Plasti Dip. And you can see how shinier it makes it as well as really helps smoothen out the finish.